One time way back, that's probably been 30 years ago, I had a bank note that was due, 600 bucks, the interest on the bank note. So I went up north of here with a thousand hooks, trot line, had a thousand hooks. I started down here, didn't do much. I moved north on the other side of Monroe, West Monroe on the river. Tried that up around a little Sterlington, a little town. Didn't do any good. Moved north to Bayou Dubuque. I tried the Dubuque. All of it was flooded. Nothing. So the days are passing by. I keep putting out the trot lines. It was about July. I finally got on the Arkansas Louisiana state line. The only thing that separated Louisiana and Arkansas was a road down through the woods for about four or five miles in the river bottom. Had a couple of guys with me I used to run with before I knew better. So I put my line out. Instead of like the one we just ran, that one was 20 hooks. Just a little something to show y'all. That line I had 30 years ago was a quarter of a mile long. I tied off on a bush and I'm going right, I'm backing up right down on the Louisiana, Arkansas state line road. I noticed that a few catfish hit them hooks even before I baited them. Just the smell, I guess, of what I had on there with my bait, using cut bait. I got them baited up and I told those guys with me, I said, y'all fix to see something you never seen before. I could just tell the water was the right color and they were already hitting them hooks when they were bare hooks. So I put it all out and started baiting it. When I started baiting the line up, the first five hooks behind me with bait on it, them catfish had already started hitting them as I was putting it out. They were hitting it as fast as I was putting it out. I just kept backing up for a quarter mile. I baited the whole thing, and I said, y'all watch this. I started back down that line, quarter mile long, started taking catfish into the boat, this boat, this boat right here. When I got to the end of running that line, and I was rebaiting it as I was going, take the fish, put a bait on it, and the fish was just throwing them in the boat. And of course, those boys were watching saying, good night, we never seen anything like this. I filled this boat up till it was about six inches of freeboard there. And I puttered on up the river and I had 1,000 pounds in the boat, in this boat. Almost sunk it. I said, we're fixing to sink the boat, boys. They were looking at the stand. We'd never seen a that many catfish caught that quick in our life. I said, boys, the Lord is with me. You've just witnessed the miraculous catch of fish. He's done more than that, but in this particular case, he sure fixed me up on that banknote. I took the fish out of the boat. They helped me. I had a big big ice chest, like big, holds a couple thousand pounds of fish in the back of my truck. Had, it, had ice already there ready. We filled the thing up, had the thousand pounds of catfish. I closed the lid on it, said, see you guys later. They'd never seen anything like it before or since. I took the fish on my way back through Monroe, pulled up to my fish market I sold to. Old man Bales owned it, he said, Looked over in my, when I drove up there, he walked out there and looked at the back of that big cooler. He said, them some pretty catfish there. I needed them. I said, how much you paying me? He said, 70 cents a pound. He shucked out seven $100 bills. 
I had money for the bank note. I went by home, I gave the money to Miss Kay. I said, there's the money for your bank note. She cried. She said, we made another one. <laughs> <laughs>